Good evening, everyone. My name is David Shedd. I am the project manager for the project that's going to be presented this evening. I'm assigned to the roadway project management uh, section for MassDOT, which is located in 10 Park Plaza in Boston. I was directed by Chief Patricia Leavenworth to conduct tonight's hearing. The Massachusetts Department of Transportation started off the public hearing by explaining the details and background of the project. The notice of the hearing appeared in the Metro West Daily News on December 26, 2017 and January 2, 2017, and the Hopkinton Town Crier December 29, 2017 and January 6, 2018. A copy of the notice is included in the handout and will be attached to the final hearing uh, transcript. Uh, page four of the handout explains the purpose of the hearing, which gives us an opportunity to make a formal presentation of the proposed project, and at the same time allows us to record your input regarding this project. Construction funding for this project is currently identified as federal aid with the Federal Highway Administration funding 80% of the total construction cost. Uh, MassDOT funds the remaining 20%. Uh, this, pro this project is currently programmed in the FY uh, fiscal year 2019 um, program. The current total estimated uh, construction cost, engineer's estimate, is six million, approximately 6400000 This does not include any right-of-way acquisition costs. Right now, the design is expected to be completed in late summer 2019 Construction is expected to be completed approximately 18 months after the start of construction. Residents then had a chance to address concerns or ask questions. I lived in this town in 1957, and I think I'm the only person in this room that ha was here in 1957. Um, and it's kind of ironic because my father purchased um, the corner of where CVS is today in 1955 from the town of Hopkinton. So it's kind of funny that two years later the town of Hopkinton decides that's when they want to do um, the offset intersection and fix it. They owned it. So if they wanted to do it, they should have fixed it then. Um, so I, I kind of find that study hard to believe that um, that's what was planned, but I just want to set the record straight there. Um, I worked at that intersection for 45 years and nine months, quite a bit of my life. Um, I live downtown. Um, pretty close to where this is all starting. Um, as a retailer, one thing I learned, the most important thing is convenience for your customers. You have to have enough parking, you have to be convenient for people to get in and out of your shop quickly and easily. And parking, we were very um, lucky to have 129 parking spaces. We had the majority of parking downtown when we were in business for 70 years. So I, I agree wholeheartedly with the gentleman who is trying to rent his um, his space for a restaurant for two years you can't do it if you don't have parking so I feel sorry for these businesses that um, are not going to have parking in front of them Phipps insurance um, the um, yoga beach uh, there's there's five of them um, the barber correct I'm not gonna, as a person going to the library, I hate to tell you, but those 40 parking spaces in St. John's, I'm not gonna park there and walk to the library. I'm lazy and I'm in good shape. Um, so I, those parking spaces that have been replicated aren't gonna help anybody. I don't think anybody can safely cross Main <coughs> Street, even with the way you've got it planned, because you're crossing four lanes to get to the barbershop from the police station. So thank you for trying, but I don't think you succeeded. Next thing is not to to um, the Department of Transportation, but for our town officials. I uh, ask you to focus on acquiring land and building off-street parking. Downtown needs in the central part, when I'm talking about right around the library, town hall, we need uh, off-street parking. This is particularly important because the parking spots that are being lost, and I understand that we have a lot of parking spots that the length of them you can't even fit a car in without over because they're not standard and, and I understand why we're losing spots from a visibility and safety standpoint but we are losing some spots also the construction will cause uh, a lot of spots to be lost during the construction period the town officials need to make it a priority to get this off-street parking which is sorely needed 
done before we start the construction in earnest, and we're now getting onto a very short timeline. You can view the full public hearing at our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMPTV.